This week, Adobe announced some game-changing AI tools that are coming to Premiere Pro soon. These AI tools will help us make videos that look better, much quicker. But there's a problem with this news that we feel needs mentioning. So here's the four new features coming to Premiere Pro and the problem that we feel no one's talking about. So getting started, the first new Premiere Pro AI tool that's coming is Adobe's edition feature. If you've ever been filming and there's something you wanted to show in your video that you haven't got access to, you'll know how useful this new tool from Adobe is. With the new tool, you'll be able to select an area of your video, type in what you want added, and Premiere Pro will put it into your video. In Adobe's demonstration video, they added some diamonds into a suitcase, which looked amazing, especially because as the camera moved through the shot, the diamond perspective changed, making it even more convincing that those diamonds were actually there when the recording was made. This tool looks incredible. You can even use it to change watch faces, change outfits that your characters are wearing. This is really valuable for video makers. Okay, next up. Have you ever filmed a video and then later realized in Premiere, there's something in your shot that you just wish wasn't there. This second AI tool from Adobe is really straightforward. It's called the Remove tool. And with it, you'll be able to just easily select an object from inside your video and Premiere Pro will automatically remove that object from your shot. You'll see from the demo shots on screen now how well this works. And from someone personally who has this problem of unwanted objects in their edits all the time, I seriously can't wait for this to be rolled out. Tool number three is the Generative Extend tool. Oftentimes, as video makers, we'll find clips in our edit that just aren't long enough for what we're trying to make. Current way of trying to extend clips that are too short with AI is pretty clunky. That's now going to be all possible within Premiere with this new tool. We'll simply be able to select the clip that's too short in our timeline, and with the Generative Extend tool, extend that clip for as long as we need it to be. Super fast process, I can't wait for this. Okay, and if you haven't been spoiled enough, there is a fourth AI tool also coming to Premiere Pro. We're gonna look at it now, and it's a tool to do with B-roll. And while we're on the topic of B-roll, it would be silly for me to not mention that Opus Clip also has some AI B-roll features in its app. Once you have uploaded your video to Opus Clip and selected the AI setting for the B-roll feature, Opus Clip then studies what happens in your video and finds and adds AI B-roll onto your footage at the perfect moment. So whether you're making vertical videos for YouTube Shorts or TikToks, or you're making longer horizontal podcasts or maybe live stream clips, you can use the AI B-roll feature in Opus Clip to make your videos instantly more visually interesting. There's a seven day free trial to Opus Clip in the description, so make sure to check that out when you finish watching this video. Right, back to that fourth tool coming to Adobe Premiere Pro. It's to do with B-roll 2. Adobe have partnered with OpenAI to give us this new feature. And what we're gonna be able to do is drag out a section on our timeline an amount of time, type in what we want, and OpenAI's new AI, Sora, is going to add AI-generated video B-roll footage onto our timelines for us, which we think is absolutely amazing because just like Opus Clip, Adobe are basically saying here, we also see how useful and important AI B-roll is going to be for video makers in the future, and we're getting on board with that too. So great validation for us at Opus Clip there. Unfortunately though, OpenAI's Sora doesn't yet have a release date, and it could be one, two, maybe even three years away. We think it's unlikely that this AI B-roll feature is going to be included at launch in Premiere Pro when the other three tools get rolled out. And that brings us on to the wider problem that I wanted to discuss. We have to wait for all of these tools 
We don't know when they're coming out yet. Adobe has said that we'll have these AI updates by the end of the year, but we all know what that means. We're probably gonna be waiting until, right up until the end of December to be able to try this out. Although I'm sure it'll be worth the wait when this stuff gets rolled out. It looks incredible. So let us know your thoughts about these new AI tools coming to Premiere Pro. And if you wanna try out that AI B-roll feature in Opus Clip right now without waiting, you can do that by trying the free trial in the description to this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.